Now let us derive the third kinematic equation of motion. For that, let us consider the velocity time graph. The velocity time graph basically means we take the velocity in the y axis and time along the x axis. That is, velocity is taken along the y axis and time is taken along the x axis. And for a uniform motion, that means uh, a motion with constant acceleration, we have the velocity time graph uh, as a straight line. It will be a straight line. And this length, this length will be the initial velocity, we call that as v0, that is the velocity at time, let's say t1 equal to 0. And after a particular time, that is at this point, we take that t2 equal to some time t, the velocity will be v, that is this length will be v. That is the final velocity. Now we have the area, area under the velocity time graph, that is this area see this area, this whole area, this area of the trapezium, the area I shaded with the green lines, let's call that as that shape as A, B, C, D. This, this is a trapezium. And the area under the velocity time graph, we know the area under velocity time graph gives the displacement. Displacement. So, we need to find the area of AB, DE. And this length CD, we know that it is same as this length ABCE, that is AE is equal to CD equal to V. And the distance between A and D is, you know, it, it is the length T. Because here at the, at, at the point B, the time is T and at this point A, time is 0. So, T minus 0, this length will be T. Now, we have displacement, let's call, let's take that as S. Displacement S is equal to area of, area of trapezium, this is a trapezium, trapezium A, B, C, D. And how will you find the area of a trapezium? The formula for area of the trapezium will be half into sum of the parallel sides. Here the parallel sides are A, B and C. See, these two are parallel sides. Sum of the parallel sides A, B plus C, C, D or D, C into distance between the parallel sides. Distance between the parallel sides is A, D. Okay. That is S is equal to 1 by 2. You know A, B is equal to V0 plus D, C is equal to V into A, D is T. Okay. So this can be written as S into half uh, this can also be written as V plus V0 into C. Now we want to find find the value of T. Okay. For that, we have to take the first kinematic equation of motion. Let me erase this. From, from the first equation of motion, First equation of motion, we have V equal to V0 plus AT. That is V minus V0 is equal to AT implies V minus V0 taking this A to the left by A is equal to T. Let's call this as equation number 2 and call this as equation number 1. Now substitute equation 2 in 1. That is S is equal to half into V plus V0 into instead of T you can substitute V minus V0 divided by A. 
v minus v0 divided by a. Now, if you simplify this, you will get we have sc is equal to sc is equal to a plus b into a minus b that is v plus v0 into v minus v0 is equal to v square minus v0 square whole divided by 2a. Taking this 2a to the left, we have 2as is equal to v square minus v0 square or we have v square minus v0 square equal to 2as implies v square is equal to v0 square plus 2as where a is the acceleration v is the final velocity and s is the displacement so this is the third kinematic equation of motion